because I'm waiting for the second trimester to get here so I can have glowing skin and long luscious hair again. And I have four more weeks of this, so. <laughs> So I'm exactly 16 weeks and four days, I think. 17 week bump. So we can go to our gender reveal and see what baby and see what the gender is and finally see what we're having. Since I didn't get to hear the baby's heartbeat, considering like, you know, I still know the steps. What's in my hospital bag, husband edition? This whole vlog might look very odd. So in just two days, I'll be 36 weeks fully. Week 37 of being pregnant. I just have my 39 weeks appointment. and I'm finally admitted having contractions since like 11 a.m. They went from like every eight minutes, every five minutes, three minutes, down to one minute. Then they kind of went back up to like three or five minutes. So we decided to come because it was going on for like two hours. Got here and I was four centimeters, 80% effaced. The midwife I really wanted to give birth with is actually here today. So she decided to strip my membranes and then told me to go immediately go walking. And I think that helped because that pushed me to five centimeters. Still having contractions. They're about like a pain level of like an eight. Tony and Maya actually went home to go feed the dogs and to grab a few minute last minute things because we were actually at the movie theater when all this started happening. broke my water I haven't had a contraction so that's actually what I'm kind of nervous about because I remember the contractions with Maya and they weren't super painful like they weren't unbearable but for some reason I'm like kind of nervous right now because the water's still coming out so I'm just waiting for like the first one to see exactly how painful they're gonna be it's about 7 57 right now p.m. Yeah, I'm expecting to be here at like 10 o'clock you have a guess 1 a.m. Mm, I hope I'm not in labor for that long. So hopefully it doesn't take me that long <laughs> to birth the baby. That's four hours. That's five, five or six hours from now. I did the nitrous oxide to take the edge off of the um, contractions and um, whew, they were really intense. Like I kept begging for that girl and like, the last second when I was turning I felt her head like the ring of fire that the, one of the nurses said and I immediately had to like start pushing. But apparently I only pushed her out in one push. So I actually proud of myself. I wanted to do this naturally. But one push is, is what I'm, I'm, good, I'm okay with. So we're in our recovery room right now and we've been here for about and I've been 24 hours actually. We got here like 1 a.m. this morning. They said we can go home tomorrow. Apparently they expect like one poop within the first 48 hours and she's pooped three times in less than 24 hours. So I think it's all those green vegetables that she only let me eat like my entire pregnancy. She's such a cutie though. I am so glad like she's finally here. Oh my gosh. And I went to labor on my own because if you guys know I was I was really upset about like getting really hard on myself but not going in labor with myself. So the fact that I did not have to be induced, they did break my water. I did not have to get an epidural and she was out in one push. Like I am so, 
so proud of myself like so 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 proud of myself it was definitely a different type of pain than i experienced with maya but i'm so glad that i didn't actually get the epidural because i was actually screaming for it in the midst of me giving birth 